Good morning, welcome to the forecast discussion for Friday, June 5th, 2015. It is going to be a bit of a cloudy, you know, a few showery showers type of day, but the weekend is looking absolutely beautiful. So, what are we dealing with today? Well, first of all, we have temperatures this morning in the upper 40s to mid 50s over the northern interior, lower to mid 50s along the coast, and upper 50s to lower 60s over the urban areas of Philadelphia and New York City. We have winds from the northeast are around 5 to 10 miles per hour, and we have overcast skies with a few showers here and there, and even some fog over portions of Delaware and Maryland. So pretty much we're dealing with, once again, a marine air mass in place, although it's going to be modified just a bit with temperatures now up into the mid to upper 60s in the New York City metro and lower to mid 70s in the Philadelphia metro for highs today. When we take a look at the latest radar, we still can see a few widely scattered to isolated showers working their way in from the Atlantic into the coast. Again, in no way, shape, or form is this a washout type of event. If you have plans for today, sure, you probably would be a good idea to bring an umbrella, but other than that, go out and enjoy yourself. Go to golf, baseball, whatever. Uh, it's going to be a rather nice day aside from a passing shower or two in the overcast cloud cover. Temperatures are going to be really comfortable and the dew points are going to be relatively low for this time of year, basically in the mid to upper 50s. So overall, a rather comfortable uh, air mass is in place if you could dodge a few of these showers. Now on the infrared satellite picture, we have our stationary front off of the mid-Atlantic coast. And here's our wave of low pressure. And you can make out the upper level low that has now pushed towards the Virginia and North Carolina coast. So what we'll watch is for this upper level low to lift northeast through the New Jersey coastal waters, producing a few widely scattered showers along the coast, only expecting about a tenth to at most a quarter of an inch of rainfall in some locations as this upper level low passes by. This cold front follows tonight into early tomorrow morning. A few showers are possible, again, in no way, shape, or form a washout uh, at all, but do watch out for a few showers and possibly an isolated thunderstorm tomorrow morning. Other than that, once the cold front clears out, skies clear out, temperatures are in the upper 70s to lower 80s, humidity is rarely low, we're talking about dew points in the mid to upper 40s, so tomorrow afternoon is going to be absolutely beautiful. And Sunday, even better, temperatures in the lower to mid 70s again for the most part, with low humidity, clear skies, and light winds. So if we get past tonight into tomorrow morning with a few showers here and there, we're dealing with an absolutely perfect weekend. So if you want to go out to the beach or go to a ball game, I don't really see any problems whatsoever with the weather pattern setting up for this weekend. So let's take a look at the latest model guidance from the Pensa AWOL website. And of course, we're going to use the European model guidance. Again, for today, our upper level low passes off the coast. Our wave of low pressure does so as well, with a few showers here and there. The, more, the further west you are, the more inland you are, the more likely you will not see any rainfall at all today. Now, temperatures will range from the mid to upper 60s along the immediate coast and lower to mid 70s just inland basically in the Delaware River Valley. For tomorrow, the cold front moves through in the morning, high pressure takes hold by the afternoon with clearing skies. Again, a few passing showers in the morning but not really much of an impact. Look for low temperatures in the lower 60s, high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s along the immediate coast, and upper 70s to lower 80s everywhere else. On Sunday, high pressure in complete control with clear skies, low humidity, temperatures in the mid-50s for lows, high temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s for highs along the coast, and mid-70s everywhere else. Now, Monday is an interesting day. We have a warm front approaching the region with some scattered showers. Now, I've been warning for several days now that we could be looking at a rather impressive thermal gradient setting up for Monday because the warm front might not be able to move through the region, and the model guidance is starting to pick up on that threat. So look for scattered showers, especially in the afternoon on Monday, low temperatures in the mid-50s throughout the region, high temperatures now in the New York City metro, 
in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Meanwhile, in the Philadelphia metropolitan area, mid to upper 70s, possibly even a few lower 80s if that warm front pushes through earlier enough. So we could be dealing with about a 10 to 20 degree thermal gradient setting up over the region with this warm front, which could lead to more widely scattered showers than what's currently being forecasted. On Tuesday, the cold front moves through with scattered showers and a few thunderstorms, especially in the morning hours. Look for low temperatures in the mid-60s, high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the immediate coast, lower to mid-80s over the Delaware River Valley and over the interior. Look for clearing skies by the afternoon on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday and Thursday, high pressure will be in complete control with scattered cloud cover and temperatures ranging from the mid-60s for lows, high temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast, and lower to mid-80s over the interior. And then late Thursday into Friday morning, a strong cold front will move through the region with showers and possibly a few thunderstorms and temperatures falling back to below normal levels. Keep an eye on this upper level low. It could have some rather interesting impacts beyond this point for next weekend with some much cooler air taking hold over the region. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather, and as always, stay safe out there.